Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about them? What are they thinking or feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're going to look at all of that today. For Scorpio, please. Messages for Scorpio. We'll start with you, Scorpio. Spirit. Angel spirits. What messages do you have for Scorpio and love? Tell me about Scorpio's energies and this connection. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay. Tell me about Scorpio's person. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Interesting. I, it's almost like this person wants you to give them a chance. It's like it's somebody different or someone you probably aren't expecting. Tell me about the mutual energies here. Perhaps they're not the person you thought they were is also what I'm seeing here. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So there's something that you still need to know about this person, some sort of conversation. So what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing that you have not actually been in a serious connection with this person, like not a real quote, quote relationship. Tell me about Scorpio's energies. Walking away, departure, moving journey, walking away towards a more stable situation. Okay. Tell me about Scorpio's person. It's almost like, like you're ready to walk away from this connection that you're in or another connection. Oh, difficult decision, fork in the road, options, choice. This decision could lead you down two different paths. Okay, I can already tell this is gonna be a complex reading. I swear, I have yet to have like a simple <laughs> reading for Scorpio. Okay, mutual energies, please, for Scorpio and this other person. New beginnings, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like this is a con uh, some sort of a connection that's new or hasn't fully developed. It's still in the early stages here. You're ready for a fresh start getting to know each other, new beginnings. Yeah, what's at the bottom? Fond memories. There are fond memories to look back on regarding your connection. So it's like you kind of know this person, but I don't think you've ever been in like a full relationship with them. Let's get into this because your person has a choice. Now, keep in mind, Scorpio, I have you on this side for me and your person's on this other side, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you. But your per to avoid confusion, this is your person, this is you. So your person has some sort of difficult decision here to make. It's like they have to choose between two people, between the past and the future, something like that. Okay, so give me some more insights into what is going on here with Scorpio. Tell me more for Scorpio. What can you tell me about Scorpio's energies in this connection? Six of Wands reverse. Something's just not working, not successful in your in your life right now. Or this connection maybe has not been one where you've been recognized for everything that you've put in. Hangman. What else for Scorpio? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. You're trying to make something work, or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the Temperance card is all about trying to make two very different things come together in harmony, blending in harmony, all of that good stuff. Needing patience, moderation, in order to really make something work. 
Now with the hangman, it's like you've really been thinking about this. There's, you know, maybe you're gaining some sort of new perspective on the situation. Um, perhaps you are realizing that something needs more work or perhaps you've put in all the work, something like that. Because I have the six of wands reversed here. Okay, tell me about Scorpio's person. Seven of Swords reversed, seriously? Okay. What else can you tell me for Scorpio's person? Empress, wow. Interesting. Okay, I'll get one more before I say what I think this might be here. One more for Scorpio's person spirit. Ace of Swords. What's here? Two of Pentacles. That's that difficult decision or trying to decide between two things. So what I'm seeing here for your person is your person has gotten something has come out or your person has gotten caught doing something. I feel like this empress caught this other person. <laughs> we'll see what's going on in this connection. What are the mutual energies here? New beginnings, getting to know each other. And there it is, Ace of Cups. This is like new love. This is a new situation here, either making it official or something like that tell me more about scorpio and this other person what are the mutual energies here okay knight of swords moving quickly here bottom of the deck nine of cups so this is all of this is like a connection that i feel you both want or you both feel strongly about but your person has a difficult decision to make and you're walking away from something. So I'm really hoping this isn't a situation where you're both in some sort of a connection and need to choose to be together. That's what I'm kind of seeing here. So let's clarify. Let me clarify these energies a bit. I'm like really confused right now. Tell me in the comments if this is resonating. Is this something where you're both in a situation and you both need to decide to walk away from where you are in order to be with each other? Is your person needing to choose between two people and maybe you've been waiting and are ready to just walk away? What's going on here? All right, tell me about the Six of Wands reverse for Scorpio. Now keep in mind, this is a general reading, so we'll not read, this is way too many. It will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. If it doesn't resonate at all, then check out my other readings for Scorpio or check out your other placements if they're more prominent in your birth chart. Whoa. Three of Pentacles reverse. Myself oh, hold on. Let me just get myself together here. Of course, I got more than one. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles reverse, the Sun reverse. Yeah, it's almost like, I don't know. It's like the it's secret attachment is what I just heard. It's like you've been attached to a situation that hasn't been really successful or a connection that hasn't really been out in the open. You've been attached to possibly an idea of someone returning with the Eight of Cups reversed or returning to this connection. Maybe you walked away from this connection in the past, Scorpio, and part of you has just always been attached to this in some way. Because I feel like you already know this person. Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? Page of Swords reverse. There's something that you probably didn't say that you're like still almost like um, wishing you could go back and do it over. Yeah, judgment. 
It's like you're looking back at the past, wanting a second chance, but there's probably not a lot of communication or you just never really expressed how you felt. Because I have the sun reverse, pages swords reverse. Something is like not clear. Why is temperance here? It could be that you are now in a situation where you're evaluating how you got to where you are now. Maybe you've been deceiving yourself about how happy you are, how fulfilled you are. Because I feel like wherever you're at, it hasn't been the most successful. Whether it has something to do with this person or not. Tell me about temperance. Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. Anything else for temperance, please? Six of Swords, reverse. Strength, reverse, and the lovers. Leo, Gemini, energy. It's almost like um, maybe uh, you've been imagining leaving a situation here. You could even be in a commitment with the Queen of Pentacles. And it's difficult for you to leave. Uh, maybe you don't have the courage to leave. But this is about someone else. This is about a choice in love, a choice in partnership, going with what your heart is telling you, which I feel like has been a common theme for Scorpio, where it's like, listen to your heart. I'm also getting the sense that if you're not like in a commitment, if um, you're not needing to leave a situation, I feel like deep down you've been hoping that someone would return to you and you would have some sort of a commitment with this person. But maybe that will require you opening up. Reveal your innermost selves to each other. So what's the Seven of Swords reverse over here? Why is the Seven of Swords reverse? Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Swords reverse? Eight of Pentacles reversed. Page of Cups reversed and the Magician. Wow. I feel like this person wants to... It's almost like they, um, whatever they got caught doing or whatever revelation they want to, um, whatever they want to reveal I feel like they're going to face some sort of opposition with the Seven of Wands and they're going to fight back. Um, I, at the same time, though, with the Eight of Pentacles reverse and the Page of Cups reverse, I feel like they're not able to really do this 100%. It's almost like they have a conversation and they're like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving, you know, but they don't actually, they can't actually just leave just like that. They're trying to manifest something here with the Magician. This is about manifesting, I feel, something new with the magician. And I feel like it's because they're heartbroken or disappointed. Three of Pentacles reverse again. Can I get one more for the Seven of Swords reverse? Maybe this person got caught talking to you or looking at your social media or maybe during an argument something came out regarding you. Yeah, this is, this is about someone, it's almost like someone has said something with the King of Swords and they got caught or, or they said something and it was like this huge revelation. They could even be talking to you and that could be like a huge revelation. But with the Eight of Pentacles reverse, they can't really put in a lot of work in here or, or maybe it, um, the focus required is, you know, it's going to be more work than just talking. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Two of Cups reverse. Yeah, I feel like this Empress is someone else.
Three of Swords reversed, exactly. This Empress is someone else, and this Empress is on your person's side for me. Um, I feel like they were the ones that figured out that your person, Scorpio, is just not... It's like, it's like they want to make a different decision now. They might even be initiating a separation with the Two of Cups reverse. This is Ace of Swords, King of Swords. This is a very direct communication that your person... And it could be that they're talking to you about this. Tell me about the Ace of Swords, about the Empress, about the separation, about the difficult decision they need to make. Where's the Ace of Swords here? Yeah, this is talking about what they truly want to do or have with the Nine of Cups. What's this? Knight of Cups reverse. I feel like this is something where, and then I have the Five of Cups reverse. And Page of Pentacles. So I feel like this is something where your person wants to recover what they've lost. And I feel like when I saw this Knight of Cups reverse, with this Five of Cups reverse, I thought, emotionally, they're still attached to this. Maybe they haven't been able to express how they feel, or maybe they haven't been able to apologize. Maybe it's going to require some sort of burden to be dropped here. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. Four of Swords, Five of Pentacles. There could have been a disconnect that your person is like, someone needs to break the ice. Maybe your person has been daydreaming about their wish fulfillment, about what wish they want for their life, about, you know, really thinking deeply, reflecting on what makes them happy with the Four of Swords and the Nine of Cups here. Maybe they've been reflecting on the distance that there is between you and this and them, because I feel like there's someone in between. There's someone else here. And I think that's part of this difficult decision on your person's end. They're the ones that has the third party. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. I feel like this is communication coming in here. Perhaps you're already talking to this person. Justice Reverse. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is quick, quick movement. Ten of Cups at the bottom. This is somebody going after what they want, but with Justice Reverse, there's something that maybe won't be completely fair to you or to them. This could also be some sort of legal situation. It could be that um, when your person talks to you, they're going to tell you, oh, something's really unfair or unbalanced for me. I can't just, you know, I really care about you, but I can't just, yeah, I need to avoid a tower. Exactly. It's not so easy for me to just get out of town, you know? <laughs> Or whatever they need to do, whatever decision they need to make. They're trying to avoid a complete tower here, a complete collapse. But I feel like at least communication, their intentions will be made clear here with the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands. And there is new love or discussions about a new beginning here. So what are the, what's the potential outcome? So for these sets of videos, I'm picking three cards for the potential outcome here on YouTube, and then I'll take the reading to the extended where I'll clarify the potential outcome further. I'll look at this person's true intentions towards you, Scorpio, and I'll look at, um, you know, what do they secretly want to tell you, or what are they secretly thinking with my secret moon deck. And then we'll wrap it up with advice from spirit. So if this is resonating and you'd like to check out the extended, the link is in the description box below this video. Oh, we got the world. So let's see. Spirit, angels, Scorpio, please. What is the potential outcome in the near future for Scorpio and this other person? Potential outcome, please, in the near future 
Two of Wands reversed, yep. Some sort of decision will need to be made. Some sort of path needs to be chosen. Potential outcome in the near future for Scorpio. Five of Cups, okay, some sort of regret. Disappointment, maybe there's gonna be, you know, some sort of compromise here, Scorpio. What else? Potential outcome in the near future, please. The Emperor reverse, yikes, Aries energy. So again, I get that sense that um, Scorpio, your person is not able to just take care of the situation just like that. I feel like this is gonna be an ongoing kind of situation. What's at the bottom? King of Cups reverse with the Four of Swords reverse. I feel like someone's still gonna take action here, poss I mean, hopefully with the Four of Swords reverse, because that could also mean no action at all. Um, but it's almost like, you know, this King of Cups reverse and this Emperor, it's like they're, they're heartbroken, disappointed about what they're not able to do. When I'm saying that because I have the Five of Cups here. And with this Two of Wands reverse and this Emperor reverse, either they don't have the courage to make this decision, or it's not completely up to them to make this decision. So for example, if this is someone that needs to get a divorce, this Empress could drag this on forever. And this Emperor can't do anything about it. Do you know what I mean? That's just an example. I feel like there's some sort of situation like that. Now, this is in the near future, so things could obviously change later on. And of course, I'm going to clarify and see what exactly is this Emperor de dealing with. But with the Five of Cups here and this Tower Reverse with Justice Reverse, I feel like there's something that's not going to be completely fair to you or to this person. You know, maybe avoiding a tower uh, keeps you hanging in the balance, you know, waiting around or whatever. Let me know in the comments if this is resonating for you, but that's what I see here in the near future. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel for free, then consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It really helps the channel grow and it shows other people the videos so that they can join us as well. Thank you to everyone who has already done that. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave me a comment if it resonated for you. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.